Hello, people. Welcome one more time to our English class with English Corporativo. <clears throat> How are you tonight? Good. Very good. Great. Good. Excellent. Well, we're going to start tonight. Can you see it? 802. Perfect. Okay, let me share the screen. Close this. And this. And this. Here. <clears throat> um, presentation. Okay, last night we finished talking about prepositions of place. These prepositions of place. We also uh, studied some questions about yes, no questions would be and information questions would be okay. Okay, let's practice one more time the prepositions we studied tonight, last night. Vamos a repasar las preposiciones que vimos anoche. Nos indican lugar. Prepositions, these are prepositions of place. And we have in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Okay. Okay. And I want to show you uh, uh, an activity here to practice this. Okay. Enlarge this. Can you see the picture? We have this picture here. And different sentences to check or to circle true or false about the position of the of the objects. Okay, tenemos aquí una imagen y unas oraciones. Y hay que checar verdadero o falso. De acuerdo a la imagen. All right. For example, uh, the radio is on the table. The radio is on the table. Is that true or false? 
where is the radio? Both. Okay, the radio is here. Yes? True. False. True. Yeah. Yes. False. Sentence is the radio is in the table. Yes, true. Okay, somebody says true. True. Oh. What is what is in? Dentro. In. Adentro. In is adentro de. So, is the radio in the table? Yes or no? No, it's no. false. No, right? It's false. It is false because the radio is not in the table. What is the correct preposition for this sentence? What is the correct preposition? The radio is on the table. Yes, the radio is on the table. The correct answer is on, because on is sobre. Okay, very good. Let's check um, the next answer. Okay, I will give you three minutes, two or three minutes, and I want you to write in your notebooks, que escriban ahí en su cuaderno donde estén apuntando. Eh, nada más pueden escribir el, el número, ¿verdad? Y si es verdadero o falso. Se los dejo ahí la imagen, un momento, resuélvanlo y luego lo revisamos juntos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok.
Yo espero que me vean. Uh -huh. Vamos a oír. Oh, ok. Did you finish? Let's check. Number two. Papi, ¿cómo le das? <coughs> Ey, no, no pongan al hijo a hacer la, la tarea. <laughs> Number two. The telephone is behind the plant. Is that true or false? True. 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 Okay. Are you sure? What is behind? A la par. A la par? No. Atrás. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. So, is the telephone behind the plant? No, it's false. No, yes. This is false. Okay, it is false. What is the truth? Where is the telephone? Next. Uh -huh. Next, to. Next to. Yes. The right answer is next to. No, no, so again. Okay, number three. Uh, the book is on the table. The book true. is on the table. Is that true? True. Yes. Yes, true. Very good. Number four. Hmm. The lamp is under the sofa. The lamp oh. is under the sofa. That is? Four. Oh. Okay. What is the truth? In front. Next to. Yeah, I think it's next to. The lamp is next to. Next to the sofa. The TV uh, is in front of the sofa. The TV is in front of the sofa. Mm, true. Yeah, true. that's true. That's true. Okay, the clock is on the books. The clock is on the books. Uh -huh. Where is the clock? Well, clock, the clock, the clock, where is the clock? This is the clock. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is false, yes? What is it? Okay. What is the truth? I don't know. Yeah, okay, sis. Vamos a ver lo más. Books, books. No sé si estos son books. Next, 
Okay. Uh, sería the clock is. Suponiendo que estos son libros. Sería next to the books. Next to the books. Suponiendo que lo que tiene en la parte son libros. Okay, next. The bike is behind the sofa. Is true? False. Okay. The rug is under the table. And under rug is the alfombra. Uh -huh. It's true. It's true. It is true. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, the pillows are in the sofa. The pillows, las almohadas o los cojines, esto. Sería? On. False, ¿verdad? Lo correcto es on, on the sofa. Okay, any question with this exercise? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien dijo sí? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. No. La radio está en la Okay. Bueno, esto era una práctica, ¿no? Um, we finish the platform. We finish with this. We finish section two. Okay. Con esto terminamos la sección dos. Uh, hay un ejercicio por acá, vamos a hacerlo rapidito. Okay. Uh, this uh, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in blank. Please then listen and check your answer. Mira las fotos, ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Posteriormente escuche y compruebe su respuesta. Ok. Vamos a ver. The books are oh. in the book. Okay, in the book. Book back. In the back. Back. Book back. Uh, Um, a ver cómo lo traducen acá, cómo lo escriben, porque puede ser backpack. Ok, a backpack. Puede ser una mochila, es una backpack o, o in the bag. Si algunos ya lo hicieron, ¿cómo les aparece? Como bag. Uh, book bag. Book, book bag. Book bag. Book bag. Ok. Vamos a ver. La siguiente imagen. The DVD player is. Next to TV. Next to. Next to. Next to the TV. Así. Television. 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 Ok. 
Number three, the map is. Uh -huh. Under. 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 Yes. Under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. Okay. Next. Number four. The chair is. Mm -hmm. Number four. The chair is. Behind. Behind. Behind the desk. Okay, number five. The wallet is on the purse. On the purse. Okay. And number six. The cell phone is. In front of the address book. Okay, vamos a escuchar. To check your work. Listen. Complete these sentences. Then listen and check your answers. One. The books are in the book bag. Two. The DVD player is next to the television. Okay. Three. The map is under the newspaper. Four. The chair is behind the desk. Five. The wallet is on the purse. Six. The cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, very good. Perfect. Any question here? ¿Alguna pregunta aquí? Sí, teacher, en el número, en el número 3, Ajá. lo que contesté igual como lo hemos contestado ya ahorita, pero no me sale mal. Under the newspaper. Ajá. Veamos acá que nos dan. A veces es por un punto. Aquí me la da bien. Tal vez le ha puesto punto aquí. No da y si le ha puesto punto ahí, le se le va a dar mal. O tal vez algún espacio de más. Antes o al final. ¿Verdad? Bueno, lo voy a revisar bien. ¿Verdad? Porque a veces esos, esos detallitos, como es una máquina, ¿verdad? Pues tiene que estar exactamente. Entonces, si usted le pone un espacio de más, o una letra de más, o un... Ok. Ok. Ok, muy bien. ¿Nadie más? Bien. Seguimos entonces. Next objective is this. By the end of this practice, you will learn how to share information about the location of other people's objects. Al final de esta clase, de esta práctica, aprenderán a compartir información sobre la ubicación de los objetos de otras personas. Vamos a ver qué es lo que tenemos acá. Where are Kate's things? Instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Escuche la conversación y seleccione la respuesta correcta. Vamos a escuchar entonces. Vamos a abrirlo acá. Y vamos a escuchar. 
an audio program. Okay, listen carefully, please. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Okay. One more time. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where... Okay, then. First question is, where are Kate's earrings? Under the table, in front of television, on the chair, or in the purse? In the purse. In the purse. Okay. And then, where is Kate's watch? It's here. Here's my watch. Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Okay, where, where is Kate's watch? In front of the television. In front of the television. In front of the television. Uh -huh. Okay. Number three. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Where are Kate's sunglasses? The chair. On the chair. On the chair. On the chair. Okay. Good. And number four, where is Kate's address? Good. Listen. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Okay. Where is Kate's address book? Under the table. Under the table. Okay, let's check. Correct. 25 out of 25 points. Correct. Any question here? Any question? No? Okay. No. La, res la respuesta de la tres, ¿cuál era? Where are Kate's on glass? On the, on the chair. On the chair. Yeah. On the chair. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Chair. Okay, thank thank chair. You. Okay. Let's practice the pronunciation of this 
statements, questions and answers. Okay, repeat after me, please. Where are Kate's earrings? Okay, one more time. Where are Kate's earrings? Where are Kate's earrings? They are in the pores. In the boards. Yeah, sería con esto, ¿verdad? They are in the pores. La una oración completa sería así. They are. Okay. Now, number two. Where is Kate? Okay. Where is Kate's watch? Repeat. Where is Kate's watch? Where is Kate's watch? It is in front of television. In front of television. Okay. Where are Kate's sunglasses? Where are Kate's sunglasses? Where are Kate's sunglasses? They are on the chair. They are on the chair. Good. Uh, where is Kate's address book? Where is Kate's address book? It is under the table. It is under the table. It is okay. under the table. Very good. Now with this we finish section two. All right. <laughs> Let's continue then with section three. Section three is where are you from? Where are you from? And the first objective is in this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes, no questions and WH questions, which we will learn in future lessons. En esta clase escucharán una conversación titulada ¿Eres tú de Seúl? Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuesta sí o no y las preguntas interrogativas las cuales aprenderemos en futuras lecciones. Ok, we have a video to practice this conversation. So please watch the video and then we are going to practice the conversation it is very short hi everyone in this class you'll listen to a conversation titled are you soul this conversation illustrates how yes no and wh questions are used Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Hi everyone, in this class you listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. 
Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation. Okay. Now, listen and repeat after me, please. Are you from California, Jessica? Are you from California, Jessica? Hello, people. Let's practice. One more time. Are you from California, Jessica? Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're well, from Korea originally. Well, my family is in California. We were born in Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Oh, my mother is Korean. Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul or not? Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. Hay alguien que parece está muy cerca de la televisión o de otras personas ahí. Si pudieran alejarse un poquito sería bueno. ¿Verdad? Porque no. En estos momentos tengo que mantener el micrófono abierto y y hace un poco de interferencia, o mejor dicho, bastante interferencia. Ok. O le bajan volumen a la tele. ¿Verdad? Algo así. Yo sé que la hora de la novela no la podemos cambiar, pero... No. Ok. Now, let's practice. Pero sigo escuchando ese televisor. Me parece la idea que vaya probando para ver quién es. Ahí estamos. Ahí estamos. Yeah. Okay. Por aquí como que está la cosa. Ya la llamo. Aquí, aquí, aquí andamos buscando como el coronavirus. Ya lo llamo. Okay, I am Tim and you are Jessica, okay? Yeah. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, well I'm from California now. Okay, Korea. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, no. We're, no. We're, not, we're, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. Uh-huh, Dijon. 
So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good. Now you are Tim and I am Jessica. So you begin. One, two, three. Are you from California? Well, my family is in California now. Where? But we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother oh, is Korean. My mother is Korean. So, I'm from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, this is my language Korean. Yes, it is. Okay, one more time, some words to practice. Repeat, please. Korea. 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 Yeah. Korean. Korea. Korean. 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 Any question with this conversation? No. No, it's her. Perfect. Okay, the key. So we'll continue then with the next video, which is about statements with B. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, our next objective tonight is this. In this class, you will learn how to form negative statements and just no questions with B. Negative statements and just no questions with B. En esta clase aprenderán cómo formar oraciones negativas y preguntas con respuesta de sí o no, usando el verbo ser, ser o estar, ¿ok? Vamos a ver a video. Let me play this video about just no questions with B. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when expressed spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say, I'm not from New York, rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. 
Now let me talk about making questions with B. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay. Um, so, negative statements and yes, no questions with B. Here we have the information. Let's talk about this for a moment. Or let me talk about this for a moment. Let's practice these sentences, please. Okay. Repeat after me, please. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm not. I'm not from New York. You're not late. You're not late. You're not late. She's not from Russia. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. He's not from Italy. He's not from Italy. It's not English. It's not English. It's not English. We're not from Japan. We're not from Japan. You're not early. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. Okay, these are uh, negative statements. Negative statements. And this is the structure for negative statements. This is the structure of las oraciones negativas. Okay. Uh, first, subject. Sujeto. Caso, I, you. Verb. Uh, next, verb to be. Um, are. In English. Next, not. And finally, the complement. Okay? Okay. I am not from New York. You are not late. These are the negative sentences. Okay? And now, uh, 
Let's practice the questions. Repeat after me, please. Are you from California? Are you from California? Are you from California? And the answer uh, is yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Or uh, okay. Entonces la respuesta puede ser yes I am o no I am not. Okay. Next, am I early? Am I early? Repeat. Am I early? Uh, early. Um, early? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Yes, you are. Or no, you're not. Is she from Brazil? Is she from Brazil? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Yes. Is he from Chile? Is he from Chile? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Or no, he's not. Is it Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Are you from China? Are you from China? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we are not. No, we are not. Are we late? Are we late? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, you're not. No, you're not. Are they in Canada? Are they in Canada? In Canada? Yes, they are. They are. No, they're not. Are not. No, they are not. Okay. And the structure, la estructura for uh, there's no question is um, la estructura para este tipo de preguntas es verb to be Subject and complement. El verbo to be. Aquí le faltó el to be. El verbo to be. El verbo to be en su forma, en su diferente forma, ¿verdad? Are, are. El sujeto. En este caso, you, I. Y el complement. From California or early. Are you from California? Am I early? Esta es la estructura de este tipo de preguntas. ¿Alguna duda aquí? No. 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 Ok. What time is it? Ok. Creo que... Um, en la plataforma les dejé un par de imágenes con unas actividades. Ah, perdón, en WhatsApp les dejé este par de imágenes. Quiero revisar si se las puse. 
Sí, ahí está. Ahí están este par de ejercicios para que los trabajen, ¿ok? ¿Verdad? Y lo revisamos mañana. Ahí les quedan, tomen nota, ahí les quedan en WhatsApp y lo revisamos mañana. Hey, teacher. Hola. Hey, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yo tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Dentro de los, eh, las preguntas que están en la siguiente, eh, fíjese que no, no encuentro cómo contestar la conversación 2, eh, literal B. No sé si es porque no le puedo poner la, la comita, digamos, para la respuesta o, o no sé. Ahí sí necesitaría me ayude para, para corroborar cuál es esa respuesta. ¿Me está hablando de la plataforma? Sí. Bueno, si quiere... Eh, lo... Me escribe si quiere más tarde o mañana para ver eso, porque ahorita tengo que atender otra clase. Ok, me parece. ¿Verdad? Y, y, y vemos eso. Con gusto. Ok, muchas gracias. Bueno. Ok, people. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Tenemos una muy buena noticia dentro del coronavirus. ¿Verdad? Así es que todavía a, a ser más precavidos, ¿ok? Okay. Tengan más cuidado. Bye bye. 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 bye.